Okay, hold on a second. What are people saying? Okay, well, all right. So um, we're recording. So, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start. Um, I know that there's more people jumping on here. Hello, Randy, I know you've been going through some stuff. I saw your um, Facebook, so I hope your husband's okay. So thanks for, uh, Thanks for jumping on. I tell him he's going to have to make the shift. Love, Ottawa. He already knows. I know. He's probably going to be like, you can't be friends with that girl anymore. Because seriously, if he needs a support group, have him talk to my husband. Because I don't know if you've seen Tim, but um, you probably want to hear this. But Tim was like, literally three months ago, was 267 pounds. And now is like work now and it sucks and he's grumpy and he's being like we try but never really do and he's lost a lot of weight so and his blood pressure is good now and he was he went down that same road i just didn't post it anywhere because he's like super you met him yeah yeah, yeah. So, well no he he already knows like we were in the hospital talking about like how he needs to like get it together yeah, and I'm sure you guys have enough supplies, so definitely get on that. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start. Um, I'm not going to get into it too much, but I'm really thankful for all your guys' support and messages and all that stuff, but I can't talk about it because I'm unraveled, so I do want you to know that I'm super, super thankful for um, everybody. So thank you for all your messages. Um, am I okay? No. Am I trying? Yes. So there's the, um, the answers to that. Okay, so we are going to talk about um, some simple steps for success. Now, um, I have a little list of some things that I want to go over really quick, and then we are going to um, go over a quick PowerPoint. I know a lot of you guys are at work. I know you're super busy, but I appreciate you jumping on because literally I did not get where I am right now in this business by sitting down in front of the computer on every single call. I was in my car. I was at work. I was teaching. Had a headphone in um so you you just got to do it on the fly and it sucks and i know it does but you can you can do it lord knows if i can do this um anybody can for real um you guys only know probably about 25 percent of my crazy life michelle katz probably knows about 99 percent um so literally if i can do this anyone can do it um so talking about steps for success all right, so there's a lot of things in this business that are fun, and there's a lot of things that are unsexy and boring. So there's the fun post, and then there's the unsexy, boring, mastering the mundane, and we've talked about this before. I honestly believe, and a lot of people could disagree with me, that you could literally work out every day, post about it, drink your Shakeology, read your personal development. That's great and all, but I honestly, um, there's this whole other part that is the unsexy, boring, heart-wrenching, tear you down. Everyone's going to buy a challenge pack from you on Friday. Nobody does. You actually get a return and you're at negative two points. That is the reality of this business. That is the part that people are scared to touch. But in reality, that's the part that's going to move your business forward. So um, I want you guys to think about a few things. Posting an accountability post in the morning is super important. As much as we, I honestly guys, I like to work out at 11 o'clock and I came to the realization that I'm going to work out now at 11 o'clock in the morning. It's very hard for me to work out at five in the morning. I'm not very good at my workouts. I don't do them full out and I look for the shortest one online and then I do it. That is not, that is not good. But every morning I show up and I have an accountability post. This morning it was the um, drinking the green thing. But to be honest with you, I made that post last year. Time hop came up, people don't see it, most people didn't see it and are gonna forget, and I reused it again. I have about 60 posts that are in my phone that I save, I change it up, and then I add a different picture and I add a little bit of stuff. I'm not reinventing the wheel every single day, writing up something new. Now, there's a lot of people that will say, well, I wanna write it in the morning, or I just wanna, be real or do what I feel, that's great and all, but I would give yourself a break and have a couple of pre-planned posts that you can do while you're laying in bed before you go to bed. It has saved me 
because when I'm this morning, when I woke up at 7.30 and I leave the house at 7.30 and I'm getting the kids ready, throwing them in the car, getting to work, that's real. Okay. All this stuff that I posted on the fly when I was at a stoplight, which you shouldn't text and drive. That's literally when I did it. Um, I'm a hot mess. I'm not organized, but the ship's got to keep sailing and you got to have that mindset to where you have some sort of plan because otherwise you're just running out the door to work. You're tired when you get home from work, you barely get your workout in. And then the whole day is gone by the end of the day, the end of the month is here and you've accomplished nothing. I've been there. Okay. I don't know if that sounds familiar, but hello, that's my life. So having an accountability post. Now we've talked about this a million times. It's great. And all you worked out good for you. You worked out. Yay. 99% of America is not, they're not like us. I don't care. They're not what we're doing as coaches. We are not the norm. So most people are like, wow, Marie, are you okay? Make sure you take care of yourself because I see you still working out and you're still showing up and you're, you're, I, I like organized the sock drawer yesterday and I like dusted the baseboards and then I invited 70 people and then I got 70 no's and then I do it again today. That's not the norm. So most people probably can't relate to that. You know what I'm saying? So as you are making your post, if I just show up and I'm like, yeah, I worked out. Here's a quote of the day. Me working out in my living room and you become white noise and it's the same thing over and over. People can't relate to you. So what I do, I know my kid was late for school. That attendance lady is like <gasps> getting us out of ways this week. I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm aware. Okay. Sorry. So um, anyway. So eventually you become white noise online, okay? Now, I'm not gonna tell you specifically who is white noise. Um, I've been white noise before. Sometimes I sure, surely am now, but I do know that a couple of you, not on this call, you show up every day. Quote of the day, I did my workout. I'm in my living room, that's great. The reality is, is that you can post those things in the challenge group, but when you are posting them on your storefront, which is your specific Facebook wall, I would put the workouts in the challenge group. I would put that you worked out on your, you could use the same picture, but I would talk about something like, man, like I have this post for later because a lot of people told me that they um, couldn't afford a challenge pack, but I'm tying in an objection, meaning like, um, meaning I have some kind of post I'm going to write about. It's the post that I worked out, but it's going to tell a story, meaning like, wow, you sure couldn't um, get that challenge pack, but I bet those Black Friday shoes sure feel good. You know, something like that, but don't be too sassy. But something like to tie in the objections that you're getting, because I want people to know that on my Facebook wall, I'm no fuss. I'm no excuse mama. So like, yeah, I'm still working out every day because I said I would. My sister is you know, dealing with this stuff. I do feel like my life is falling apart. But if I say no excuses and I'm going to show up every day and then I'm truly tested with this, now I better show up, you know? And it shows people that, that maybe I'm not normal, but if I can do it, anybody can. So you want to tie in a little bit of a story within your post. Um, I have another post later in the week that's going to talk about I am here, just no audio or video. I'm working, setting it up, getting an opening. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, just go ahead and um, get, that, get that working. So I have a post um, for later in the week that um, is talking about if I was still a teacher, guys, I probably would have lied to go to Vegas, honestly. I had more grandmas, and it's how terrible. Lord bless me for all of my lies while I built my beach body business. Please forgive me. But I um, would come up with any reason to be in the Caribbean. You guys, I was a full-time teacher when I was doing all that stuff you saw me doing over the past few years. So I probably would have had some crazy excuse, went ghost on my Facebook wall, and went to Vegas. If, if, if I was still a teacher, I would have never have been able to leave from Vegas and miss a whole week of school right before the holidays to go be there with my family. I would have never been able to do it. Then I'm super stressed out while I'm there because I am like a um, consistent machine. So now I am, I am 
you know, dealing with all this stress. I'm in the hospital. I'm sitting there with my sister. I'm going to the bathroom and I'm commenting on everybody. It's like you worked out in your groups and I'm like, yeah, go get them girl. And then I go out of the bathroom and then I go back and, and I'm, and I'm doing all this stuff. And then I never did any invites. Actually, I'm a liar. I did like five in the morning, but we went to bed at like midnight and then had to get up and go back to the hospital at like 4 a.m. So my parents who were annoyed because my, my nails were clicking the glass on my cell phone were like, what are you doing over there? And I'm like under my covers in my bed, like, thanks for accepting my friend request, having you positive vibes. And I had to type so that my nails wouldn't hit the glass on my phone because it was annoying my parents while we were in the hotel room. Anyway. So I, um, so I do all that stuff. And then I realized what the cool thing was, is I realized, cause I sit there and I try to add up like how much money I'm going to make from my husband's account, my first business center and my second business center. And then I always screenshot it. And then I tell my husband like, yay, look how much money I made this week. And I get excited. Um, so then my husband said to me, so when you work 80 hours on Beachbody and then you work no hours on Beachbody, you got paid the same. And he was like, LOL. And then it made me realize, like, first of all, it made me mad because I'm like, whoa, like some days, like some weeks I will work like 60 hours on Beachbody and then, um, you know, everyone will say no and then I'll still get paid the same. But like, I literally probably worked three hours on Beachbody, but I still got paid. So, so I'm, I don't, I'm not going to write the post out like that, but it was such a blessing to know that when Thursday hit, even though it cost me thousands of dollars, guys, in plane tickets from one way from here to there, which totally blew my budget. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, it, it did. Um, but I still got paid on Friday. So if I was a teacher, they don't care. Like you wouldn't have gotten paid and it just would have been nothing. So that was a super blessing. So I'm going to tie something into a post like that. But those of you that are just jumping on, um, and we're going to get into the meat of this in a second, but talking about not being white noise online, talking about um, turning your, hold on one second. Hello? Hold on, sorry. Oh my God, that was the attendance lady again. They must have me on like some kind of automated thing. My daughter was 10 minutes late for school today. And then they call me and they're like, it's kindergarten registration. So make sure you get your immunizations and all your paperwork filled out by noon. Okay. Anyway, I can do this. So, so, you know, if you're just jumping on, we were talking about tying in objections into your post and, and, and real life things. If you're just, you, if you're having a hard day, you got to say you're having a hard day. You got to say it, you know, because then you're not normal and people cannot relate to you. Um, so tying in um, the objections, incorporating quotes and reading your personal development. I know the coaches that are not reading personal development. I can, I can make a list of all of you right now and you can tell me that you're reading personal development, but I know you're not because if you're sitting over there on the, the, I've invited so many people and nobody wants to do it. Bump you're not reading personal development because everybody knows as an entrepreneur that you're going to have peaks and valleys. You know, right now I'm putting up six success club points. For me, that's BS. I get 20, you know, I, I know it is. I know I'm, I'm, I'm struggling, but I'm not over here in the mindset like, man, beach bod, nobody wants to do beach body anymore because it's too expensive and nobody wants to join me mindset. That's a person that doesn't read personal development's mindset. The person that 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 um, it's and it's okay to have self doubt because I have tons of self doubt, guys. I question what I'm doing every single day, especially on the weeks when I get a bunch of no's and I'm like, "What's wrong with me? Like, what am I doing?" But I know that I read personal development and eventually I do get a win. Lord, look at Katie. Um, Katie, when she invited everybody for like two months. And everybody told her no. And I was like, oh, man, like, oh, Katie doesn't quit. Like, she's doing so good. Her posts are, like, the best out of the whole team. She's killing it. And then all of a sudden, Katie got a win. You know? It's like the batter that goes up, goes up, and they, 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 they miss, miss, miss. And all of a sudden, they hit a home run. You know? Um, and people, especially when, you know, even when, when I'm at Summit or if I'm on stage getting recognized or I get this star diamond, um, you know, rank that I have, 
people are like, God, how do you do it? Like, you're so amazing. Or like, I'm not like you. Okay. What people don't see is the dirty part when I'm exhausted and I'm showing up when I've cried for hours and I just want to go to bed because of things that are going on. And I still do a couple invites. I still show up. That is the part um, that is going to, uh, that, that will make you great is when you don't quit and you keep showing up and you do the unsexy part, the inviting and the following up with people. The people that told you no in September, you should be inviting them these next two days to get your self-success club. Pull out your notebooks. Who told you no? There's got to be tons of people. This is everybody that told me no in September. You know, I'm going through those people right now because if I want to get success club, guys, we have two days till the end of the month. I don't have time to build a new relationship, tell you I love your shoes, and then we're going to talk about shoes for two weeks, and then you're eventually going to buy a, a challenge pack from me. I don't have time for that right now. I got to go to all those no's and all those people that said maybe next month because those are the people that you're going to seal the deal with. Now, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, we have the holidays. Nobody wants to lose weight in the holidays. So the message that I'm putting out there for people is the how, like I have my um, challenge, but when I'm leaving people a voicemail, when they want more information, I send them over the information, but then I also leave them a specific voicemail that says, you know, hey, this is Marie, check out the information that I sent over to you. And this is great for the holidays because this group is going to help you um, still enjoy the holidays, not feel deprived. But, um, you know, something like that, because all people are going to see is this is a diet in December. Okay. So you got to tell them that the challenge, what we're going to do moving into December, because I think it started over. Um, I actually have a list of things that I need to get a handle on. So I do know that the challenge has probably started over. I have to see who won the last round. I, I know that. Um, so we're going to be talking about like holiday um, eating tips, portion control tips, not overeating. I eat cookies, but I take a bite of a cookie and then I throw it away. Like that's what I do. Besides the day when my sister um, just made me think of it, she was getting all this bad news and she's like YOLO and then ate five cupcakes. You only live once. And then I had to eat them with her, which I don't like sweets anyway. And then I ate five cupcakes. And I was like, God. Um, but you know, most people during the holidays, are going to eat those five cupcakes on the regular, you know? So we got to give people the tips and the tricks to be successful, but still enjoy the holidays. So make sure that when you're sending that information over, you're also tying in that they're not going to feel deprived. They're still going to enjoy the holidays and how that's going to work and what that looks like. Um, also, you've got to make sure that you're adding 20, um, what time is it? You gotta make sure that you're adding 25 to 30 new people a day. 20 to 35 new people a day. When they accept your friend request, you can do whatever you want, but I, all I say is, hey Jill, thanks for accepting my friend request, sending you a positive vibe, and there's a Christmas tree emoji and a sparkle, and a, what else? Christmas tree emoji, a sparkle, sorry, my voice cracked, and a um, snowman and a cookie. And then I send that over to them. And then I leave, leave it alone. And then a squirrel, I put a squirrel on there too, because I think squirrels are like, you know, the whole Christmas and the tree and the squirrel thing from the Griswolds. So then I, and then I leave it alone. But I, but if so, so at some point, if you're consistent on your wall, you should be having more people liking it than all of us that are commenting on each other's stuff. Because that's also exhausting, especially when the posts are long. I'm like, love your shirt. You know, and you can be like, oh, I just got run over by a car and my life's over. And I'm like, keep shining, girl, because it's a lot. You know, I get it. I'm not reading them all. Sometimes I do, but I mean, come on. So then, so eventually, if you're adding these people in, you should be getting more likes. So you guys get the point, right? You have to be adding friends. You have to be consistent on your wall. You get the likes. Then you reach out to them. I'm not sure if you've seen my post, but I'd love to invite you to my holiday hustle challenge. It's perfect for um, staying on track during the holidays, but it's not really a diet. 
Um, we work on portion control. It's super fun moving into the new year and you know those little black dress parties coming up and la la la. You just got to make up something. Um, because if you're not adding in new friends or your posts are the same every day, like, and we've talked about this before, I think that, I can't remember who went to a spin class. One of you guys did. Maybe it was Valerie or somebody went to a spin class. I go to a fitness class twice a month and outside of my house because there's a lot of people out there, guys, that don't want to work out at home because they think working out at home is stupid. And I always tell people, guys, when I, I always tell people that I don't want, I don't like to work out at home either, but the reason I do when it works is because we run one of the top online fitness groups in the country and you get me. And by getting me gives you the slight edge for success. So I know you guys are getting all those. Well, I don't work out at home. I go to the gym. Okay. Well, you already told me that you need to lose 30 pounds. The gym's not going to get you there. The gym's not going to call you up. The gym's not going to give you that tough love when you need it. The gym's not going to teach you how to eat. It's 80% nutrition. The gym's not going to give you that su support and accountability. You know, all of those things you should be tying into your post. All of those things. Because otherwise, you look like another mom online selling DVDs. Right? So you've got to tie all that stuff in, and that's what gives people the slight edge. It's kind of like an alcoholic, I would say, going to, like, you can't just, like, quit. Like, if you're an alcoholic, like, you have to have support, right? You have to have support and motivation and accountability. So that's why the support group is perfect for people so they show up. I know I wouldn't show up and work out yesterday I wouldn't have but I told you guys I would and I'm not gonna let you down um, and we're stronger together this can't this business nobody on this call right now is gonna make any money and I know I'm jumping around a lot but it makes making me think nobody on this call is gonna make any money unless we're all working together this this business is not generated by challenge pack sales so in the beginning of your business you're gonna get you're going to get, your money is going to be coming in from your challenge pack sales. Eventually, even if you sell nothing, quote unquote nothing, and you develop, you build a team, then you're going to be building a team. You're going to be doing calls. You're going to be doing training. And that is going to be generating your income. So if everybody is putting a little bit of skin in the game and we're building that downline, it's going to be building that residual income. So now moving back to going to a fitness class once or twice a month. Helps the community know that you are actually in the fitness community. You are actually in the fitness community doing something in fitness that is not just in your living room, right? Going to a yoga class, going to Whole Foods, buying some organic foods, um, talking about um, different things like that. A lot of people, guys, the reality is, is they don't have time to work out. So I would talk more about Shakeology. I would talk more about not Shakeology, but like certain... Um, Become a, become a student of Shakeology, understand how it helps your body, how it supports your immune system, because otherwise people think you're just selling expensive protein, okay? Um, so change it up. Even though you work out every day, don't post that you work out every day, because if you work out every day, most people, like I said, that's, that's not the norm. So people aren't gonna relate to that. They're gonna put up the walls that they can't do it. But maybe you could teach me how to eat with, with portions, you know? Um, I also wouldn't post a ridiculous amount of meal planning that you did because it overwhelms people. I see that. I'm out. Shoot, guys, I eat, like, on the fly. Like, you probably rarely ever see me posting food because I'm, there isn't. There isn't. I go in the gas station. I get some hummus. I go in the gas station again when I get gas, when I'm driving around for my kids, I get some fruit. I go through the Chick-fil-A line and I get some um, grilled chicken nuggets and I don't get the fries and I get some water. Then this morning I've eaten nothing because I'm a busy mom. I know it's an excuse. I've had two cups of coffee. I'm going to have a shake and then go get lamb. But that's real. If you told me that I have to make all this food on this plan and then I've got to put it in small containers and then I work from home. I'm not going to do that. So I'm, I'm not, I mean, and I'm your guys leader. Like I don't do that. I try, but it never really, ha it never works out. It doesn't, I, it just never works out. 
Um, so Shakeology is my secret weapon, right? And then I talk about that. Lord, I don't even have time to blend it. Like I'm that girl that has like all this like like supply building up. Um, Sometimes I don't even drink it. Like, I'm a hot mess, guys. I shake it with water, and it's gross. Like, if you ever have sh just shaked, I know I know I should say this, but if you have ever shaked vanilla vegan with just water, oh, that stuff's terrible, you know? So you've got to, um, which leads me to my next part, you've got to explain to people how to make Shakeology. Because when I was at the hospital and I was shaking it with water, I was like, Oh, I was like losing my mind. I was like, no wonder people return this stuff. It's terrible. <laughs> like, this stuff's terrible, you know? Um, so, so you've got to explain to people. You've got to play around with it. They've got to blend it for three to four minutes. It should be smooth and creamy. Mine is icy and chunky. I can't drink it. I'll throw up. Um, so, so you've got to talk to your people about that, understanding the value of Shakeology. Another thing um, I know I'm just jumping around is during the holidays, everybody postpones their Shakeology and quits. They do. The reality of it is last year, I had like 16 people quit from December 1st to, to January, the first week of January. Because people think that saving $16.95 a month is going to give them a Merry Christmas. Or postponing their Shakeology is going to save their Christmas. When in reality, Beachbody and Shakeology is not your problem, it's your solution. So I urge you during this time to, when you're in the challenge groups, when you're generating your post in your challenge groups, I would talk about Shakeology, how it is helping you stay healthy during the holidays how it is helping you stay on track during the holidays. I would add in that a couple of days a week so that people have that omnipresence of seeing that. Because when those emails hit that your Shakeology is about to be shipped and you know, mama's gotta go shopping with her aunt on Friday, I promise you they are gonna, they are gonna cancel your Shakeology and it's hard for your organization to stay afloat over the next six weeks. This is the hardest six weeks moving into the fitness industry. So I'm not trying to scare you, but I'm just telling you to be prepared for it. Can you combat that? Yes. But you have to um, be organized and have a plan for it. Because if you're just showing up every day and you did your workout, that's great, but that doesn't help me. It does, because I see you, but you got to think about incorporating that into it. And I don't even know if that really makes a lot of sense, but I'm just warning you. Um, so, um, okay, you know, I told you about that, that it's eventually not sales, because you guys, in the beginning, I was a very high success club earner. I was getting 30 and 40 points a month, but right now, now I get about 10, and it's not because I'm not as good at it anymore. Like, I'm on the phone with coach relations, I'm training coaches, I'm doing all of that stuff. So eventually, it becomes less of a sales-driven thing and more of a team-driven thing. So you guys will definitely get there. Um, that was about 30 minutes there. I was actually going to be sharing a um, PowerPoint with you really quick. It's going to take five minutes, and then we're going to get off. But I want to share this with you. Danielle, can you see this? Can you guys see this? Yeah. Um, okay. So in order for time management, guys, and scheduling, one of the biggest challenges in growing a successful coaching business is we've already talked about this. You have to be consistent and you have to be efficient. I've said this before, it's not an apple a day, it's not an, 10 apples on Sunday that keeps the doctor away, it's an apple a day. You know, it's not 20 invites on Tuesday because you felt like it or you had time, it's a little bit every single day that is going to um, move your business forward. Treat your business like a business. You've gotta have business hours. So I challenge everybody to, um, no, oh, wait, hold on a second. It just paused the screen. I challenge everybody to write out your business hours, okay? And I know I need to do this because getting those messages at 11.30 at night when someone's like, what is Coach Relations phone number? Um, when you could easily Google it, I know that like I need to have my own business hours, um, which I'm about to do. 
I also urge you guys to, if you have any questions that I'm not saying I don't want to answer your questions or, or being like rude or whatever, you can post the questions also in the coach group because you're probably going to get a faster response. If you guys saw my inbox right now, um, you would be like, oh my gosh. So if you're asking me a question that you really need the answer to, and it's like buried, like literally at the bottom, like somewhere around here, I might not get to it on time. So set goals. Like what is your goal between now and Thursday? I know for me, I need to change one more life with a challenge pack. In, in January, December, January is my highest time for recruiting coaches. Those are going to be the coaches that you have a year to get to diamond, which is going to help you get to a star diamond and advance your business to rank. Do you have a four month goal? Daily task, be disciplined, and you are your own boss. What is on your to do list today? Do you just get up and then you get online, you go in the challenge groups, and then you drink your shakeology and then you're done? That's not running a business. Running a business is adding new friends. I mean, that's part of running a business, but that is only about 10%. The other part is that unsexy part that we talked about, right? Um, so definitely get yourself a schedule. I would love for you guys to write those out and post those in the coach group. Um, Katie, are you still on here? Katie, if you could, um, yeah, Katie is on here. Katie, if you could put in the, um, like the coach group, if you could put, post your office hours below, like a little, you know, thing in the coach group, the Boom Empire coach group, they like post your office hours below. If everybody could make your office hours and then screenshot them, I'd like to see what those are um, in the coach group. Um, I don't know why this won't go to the next one. Isn't there supposed to be like a, isn't there supposed to be like a thing? Hold on. I'll just do it the old fashioned way. Um, get rid of distractions. Turn off your notifications. When I do invites for two hours, I do um, every day. I turn off my phone. It doesn't ring and my notifications on Facebook because like Michelle will post something in the boom fam and I'll be like, oh, let me see what she posted. But I was just supposed to message this lady. So turn those notifications off. Um, or you can put a sticky note on the side of your computer at the bottom so you don't see all that stuff popping up. Um, as people are saying, if I say to them like, hey, um, do you want more information about my challenge? And then they say yes, I don't respond to them right away, okay? Because right now, what I'm doing is, is if I'm going through, say for example, I have 10 people that I'm about to invite, that is the task that I'm doing at that time. So I will say, Hey, Michelle, I'm not sure if you see my post that I have this great holiday hustle challenge coming up. I would love to um, send you more information. If I was to open up a spot for you, would you be interested in the details? You know, cute emoji or whatever. If she says yes, shoot them over. I don't send them over to her right then because I'm sending that message to the 40 people that are on my list that I'm going to invite because I don't have time to get tied up in conversation with you about your goals right now. Hey, I'm busy. I'm in car line. That's all I'm doing. When the kids go to bed, then I might do step two for all those 40 people and say, oh, I'm so excited that you want some more information. Um, I would love to hear what some of your long-term and short-term um, wellness goals are. I know for me as a busy mom, it's super impossible for me to get to the gym, find time to work out. My life is super hectic. I'm busy all the time. So this group has been a godsend to me right? Because they're going to tell you what, they're too busy, don't have time, they have kids, or they work full time. So you squash that objection from the beginning when you send your message over. Now you're waiting for a reply, okay? So we do all that, um, which is really important too. I'm not going to go over this whole thing, but, um, and don't respond to messages as they arrive. Focus on the task um, and don't get stuck in scrolling on Facebook. Okay, um, so that was the last tip I wanted to leave you with on there. So don't get, so as you're doing that, when you're focusing on those business hours, when you're focusing on your invites and your follow-ups, like today, I am pressed for time. Oh my God, it's 11.09. I like literally have to finish all my follow-ups and this call before I get landed at 12. I don't have time 
to go add a bunch of stuff to my Facebook story or go do my workout right now. My priority is, is getting those follow-ups in because by the time those people have time to respond to me, they're going to be out of work tonight. And then I can seal the deal tonight. You know? So you got to try to think, think of that stuff as you are doing your invites, you are doing your follow-ups. When you're, when I'm following up with people, I'm following up with them, but I know that, I know that they're sending me that time and money objection. So before I get that, I give them the time and money objection. You know what I'm saying? Before they give it to me and how this has helped me before I even get it. Because it's a lot harder to combat that objection once you get it if you hadn't already squashed it before it came to you. And I have become so much better at that in the past six months um, because nobody wants to bother anybody and you don't want to be pushy and you want to do la 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 la. If you're tiptoeing through the tulips in this business, you're never going to get anywhere. You need to be crafty, not pushy, but crafty. There's a difference between being crafty and outwitting your person that you're talking to because people need the under, not outwit them, but they need to understand that, um, they're never going to have time. They're never going to have enough money, but this is why it works. And you just need to decide is what it comes down to a decision. You know, um, I talked really, really fast and I know that I jumped around, but there was a lot of good nuggets in there that can help you, um, with your business. For the love of God above, if you are hitting posted, 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 and you have not sold one challenge pack this month, you need to change what you are doing because it is not working. Okay? And Steve, you don't know what I'm talking about because you're not in that thread where if we post, we all comment on each other's stuff so it boosts their post on Facebook. I can add you into that if you would like. but. So, so reflect on this month. I did all this stuff, but it didn't get anywhere. But Pat told me that if you stay consistent and you keep doing this, that eventually it's going to happen. That's great and all, but the reality is that I'll be honest with you. If you've been doing that for a month and you haven't gotten anywhere, the unsexy part that you're not doing, it's not working for you. And if you are doing the unsexy part, the invites and the follow-ups, you need to you need to change what you're doing because what you're doing is not working. Because you shouldn't be inviting hundreds of people and then every single person tells you no and then the next month hundreds of people and everyone tells you no. You know, I probably invite 20 people a day. Five people want more information. Then by the end of the week, I try to sell at least one challenge pack. Because the four people will say they want to do it, they'll back out, and then the one will. Okay? Um, you got to change the way you talk to people. you got to change up your posts. You need to be more personable. You need to talk about how you can help them, not how you're helping yourself all the time. It's not always about you. You need to be more interested in their journey than you are interesting. Okay? Um, because all those people, when I'm like, hey, like my hair looks cool and I've got these glasses on, yeah, I'll get 97 likes. That's cool and all. But the reason I'm doing that is because when I throw that bone out there about joining my challenge group, four hours later, that post is going to go to the top of their news feed and then they're more likely to see it. So everything I'm doing, there's a reason for it. Because if you're just posting something out there that you're so excited that you're going to a retreat, Everyone's going to be happy for you, but then you need to follow up with your smoking gun at the end would be five hours later would be joining my challenge group because they're more likely to see it. That's your bait. And then you have your hook is your, your next part. Okay. That's just something to think about. Um, all right. What questions do you guys have? Questions, concerns, comments, rebuttals, um, words of wisdom. I have a question. Yes. Have you guys ever tried to do like a challenge in the challenge group where you do like if you work out the day before, the day of, and the day after the holiday, they get like a prize or? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do Something it. Something like that? Yeah. I definitely think that would be um, a good idea. I, I was thinking before to make another group. I hate a bunch of groups because it makes more work for us. 
There's right. no to have a three day refresh group and a clean eating group. group. Right. Let's do them within the groups. Of course. Um, yeah. Yeah. And if you definitely would like to, I'm blocked from Facebook right now. Um, <laughs> I know. That's amazing to be blocked from Facebook. Um, apparently, I posted a song back in 1999, so they got the best of me. Um, so if you would like to maybe go live in there and tell them about that or make up a little post, that would be great. I actually have a bunch of um, things that we can um, offer to people. I don't know. I've never in four years had a, a backup of supplies, and now I've got stuff for days um, lately. Um, but, yeah, we can use some of the things that I have. If you want to give a prize, I have um, I have green and um, daily sunshine. I have daily sunshine too. Yeah. So uh, my kids won't drink it. I'm like, what? Oh. Actually, <laughs> I it back, but I know I would throw your guys' volume, so I'm not. Lucas likes it. Uh, he won't drink it like every day, yeah. but he does yeah. like. That's all. Awesome. My kids like two sips and then they're done. Yeah. Which is okay. But I mean, I that's kind of how it. he is. Yeah, that's like how Lucas is with everything, though. He's not going to sit there and like drink some huge thing. Yeah, yeah definitely. Good. Um, I think it's good. I don't think it's gross. No, it's yeah, not it gross. Actually good. And then for people that give you a hard time about Shakeology, um, say they're like worried that there's like a um, like a certain vitamin in it that they're that they can't have, or I know that um, one of these girls I know is worried about um like tea, like green tea, like different teas or something. I don't know. Um, they can also, there isn't any of that in Shakeology. So it's not just for kids. It's gluten-free and something else free. I don't know. I just sell it to people. Oh, you mean in the daily sunshine? <laughs> yeah. So there's something good in it that will help everyone. So <laughs> there's so many things in my head. Like, I don't even know how I get through the day. So yeah. <laughs> so, whatever. Um, any other um, questions? I think that's Valerie on the bottom. I'm not sure of the seven. I'm not sure. I don't think she's a 727 number. Let's unmute them and see if we can. I don't know who that is. I can look up what area code it is. We will find you 727. That area code is from. <laughs> Creepers. Um, so anybody else have a question while you have, have me on here? I think we're good. And I'm not going to give the prize out for this um, challenge stuff until the end of December. I think we said, oh, it's, yep. uh, I think, did we say oh, it's 90 days? Was it three, was it three months? I don't know. I can't really afford a pair of Nikes right now. So we just, because that was the prize. What did we say? I don't know if we said 60 days or 90 we days. 60 days. So that would be at the end of December. So let's just let that ride if you guys don't mind. Um, yeah, no, I think that makes sense. That's what we initially yeah, said. But how do we yeah. do that? Because like we have new people starting now. Um, so. I'm going to do the first, I'm going to do, I'll probably do like the first, the new people starting now, they will be the next. Whoever was on those sheets, I can tell that my assistant makes. Those will be 30, 60. The new people, this will be the first of their 30. Okay. They go 60. But I can tell by those sheets that the assistant does. I yeah, don't have to tell. a lot to track. But Thank God I got her when I did because. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That really yeah. helped a lot. Um, it's expensive. Can I ask just a really quick thing? I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm just going to throw it out there. So these posted threads that we have, I thought they were a really good idea. Maybe they are. But I have found that in general – I had more people, like maybe less people commenting and liking, but it wasn't all coaches. And I'm finding yeah. that like Those now, because I think what we're doing is we're just all then showing up in each other's newsfeed. Like I also didn't used to, when I would go into my newsfeed, I didn't only see coaches. Now, because we're all commenting and like, you know, when you comment and like on someone's stuff, you're more likely to see them. And yeah. I feel like now all I see is coaches' stuff, and coaches are the only people who like and comment on any of my stuff anymore. So are we like shooting ourselves in the foot? I think we mm -hmm. are, to be honest with you, because when I was in um, New York, I didn't. The people right. that on that one when I was working out in the lobby, there was I had like seventeen people that had never liked it before. That they would that wasn't even a good one. And well, then, I mean, they were seeing you at the hospital and stuff like that. Like, I did find that other random I, people were commenting on Mina's stuff and whatever that, but. but I didn't yeah. put posted is what I'm saying. Right, 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 mm -hmm. right. I haven't been putting posted yet. You know, this one I had 47 likes on. 
but it could be because people are drawn to my wall right now because of what's going on right. right here. So I don't know, really, which is a whole nother thing. So I was going to tell you guys, yeah. um, that group, like I know when, um, I'm trying and I, and I know this sounds, I know this sounds, this probably sounds terrible really does. But, um, um, when people post like to my wall about that stuff, it kind of like, Oh, I'm thinking of you on my Facebook wall. Um, just send me a PM or put it in the Sardelli strong group. Cause what's happening is, is when people do that, when I'm making my list of like, like I'll post another manic Monday and I worked out and then I'll get 47 people that are like praying for your sister. It's kind of throwing my business a little bit too, because then I can't say like, Oh, thanks for praying my sister for my sister. I would love for you to join my holiday hustle challenge. Yeah. You know saying? So that's kind of throwing things on my own wall. Um, and I know that sounds super selfish and I should be eternally, you know, grateful for, for all that. But, um, try not to do that. Um, over so wait, here. what are you saying um, not to do though? I didn't. Um, I'm saying not to like, you know, post on my own Facebook wall, like things about whatever. Cause I want to keep what's going on with my sisters in a separate area. And then yeah. opposed to, yeah. because I could be like, cause now if people see that so much more on my regular Facebook wall, I could be like, Hey, so what, what, what's your favorite quote on a coffee mug? And then I'll get 75 people send me like, um, you know, prayers, which is nice, but it has nothing to do with it. So I got to kind of keep those things separate because it could, I know it sounds selfish, but it could really throw my business too. Because then it's like, I can't invite anybody because all these people I invited yesterday were like, Hey, thanks. But you know, and then they send me all these clinical trials and I'm like, I asked you if you wanted to buy a challenge back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's hard. I mean, I know because even just when like there's no comparison, but just like when I had the concussion and I'm like lying in bed in the dark for a week, I'm like, how am I going to be like, hey, you know, my mm -hmm. upcoming challenge, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's really hard when there's something tough going on yeah. that you're talking about to then be like reaching out to people with all this excitement mm -hmm. and... Yeah, I'm like, I got this holiday hustle challenge coming up. Who's interested? And everyone's like, oh, my God, you're going to die, too, of a heartbroken heart. And, like, I can't talk about this. So it's just like, you know, and I, I know it's just kind yeah. of um, Yeah, so I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. But um, all right, guys. Well, thank you, everyone, for jumping on. I appreciate everyone.